So, this is not, obviously not the normal video that I would be making. Uh, you know, you normally see a gun in my hand, and uh, that's primarily what my channel's about. But I wanted to take you on this this journey this weekend of uh, building some shelters, some traps, uh, some bushcraft stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm going to use just what I usually keep in my bug out bag here. And uh, I actually do this quite often. You guys don't normally see it. But um, this is this is something I probably do, you know, building a shelter out of whatever's around. I You know, I, I probably do it six, eight times a year. Um, and thought I'd take you along the, along the way this time. Uh, you may hear a, a quad in the background. <clears throat> Down here, there is a road. There's campsites way over there. There's campsites way over there. Um, you may hear some horses. You may even hear uh, my girlfriend shoot her gun down the hill here a little bit. Uh, wait for this guy to pass. <coughs> you may even hear her shoot her gun. But uh, I'm going to pick you up here and show you where I've decided to build my shelter this time. And uh, a couple traps and a couple things that I do when I, when I do this sort of stuff just to keep my skills up a little bit all right so this area right here those three trees right there is where I'm going to be building my shelter and it's on the back side there's a steep ridge there and this is the landscape down there I don't know if you can see it right there's my girlfriend's truck right in that area there but we've got a established campsite down there already so, I am not too far from help if something goes horribly awry. So let's do this. All right, I got this green branch down. I'm gonna use it from here to here as my ridge pole. And I'm almost done getting all the branches off of it, which I'll use fill in the gaps later. Now what I'm using for this is the Coughlin's or Coughlin's or whatever you call it. Uh, it's just a really cheap saw, but man, these things are sharp. Bank line. And I absolutely love this guy. It's the uh, Cold Steel Kukri Machete. Got to be one of my best investments ever. Cold Steel makes some more expensive ones, but this one's you know really inexpensive. And I've had it for like four or five years. Love this thing. So let me let me show you what I got here. So I tried to put it up here, but it was just a little too short. So I put it on this nub, used some bank line to secure it. I'll probably take some paracord and actually wrap it around the tree also uh, to help pin it up against there. 
and this really doesn't need fastened. This really doesn't need secured. And but these stumps, these little cutoff areas, are the reason that I picked this spot, along with being pretty flat. And uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff around. So I'm just gonna knock knock this stuff off. You know, get it nice and smooth down, so I can so I can start putting back side of this on this is pretty green so I don't think it's gonna snap it is a little wobbly but uh, that's okay it is a little wobbly but I might uh, put an upright from here to the ground if I find a good one because I'm gonna put a lot of stuff on this it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty sturdy all right so you can see that because of the branches that I'm gonna start using I got all this filler here to take up the back side of it so that is my first stringer down and uh, a lot more to go but this thing is about chest high to me and uh, much longer than I am so there's plenty of space for me in there. All right, these are going to be my main pieces, and I'm going to start running filler all over it. Some long pieces across there, and uh, stuff it in when I, where I can. Yeah, I can't put anything else on here. I'm gonna need to find something with a Y in it. Or something I can at least get up underneath here before I put any more weight on this. If I pull down, I can pull this branch. It's, it's Like I said, it's green, it's not gonna break, but it will bend. And uh, I can't put any more weight on this until I support this. Shit. So, let's see if I can get this camera set up. So I told you that I was going to use only things in my bug out bag, which I am. Uh, I normally keep this kukri on my bug out bag, by the way. So I'm going to use this shovel, this SOG camping shovel. I know it's not 
like the nicest shovel ever and you know I'm sure somebody's gonna say well you know that's a cheap piece of shit and whatnot well whatever it's what I use and that's worked out pretty good for me <clears throat> so I'm about a foot too tall 10 inches too tall on my support piece I want to raise this up a few inches anyway so I'm gonna dig a hole right here to give it like a footing so that if I bump it or something it doesn't kick out from underneath it and then I'm gonna attach it to here There's a lot of rock in this area. Here we go. Check that out. So I put, I cut a notch in it, a V in it, because I'm gonna do this. So I'm taking a break from building the shelter because <clears throat> it really just needs branches and uh, some leaves at this point. <clears throat> and I'm going to start trying to get my fire going. It's about noon probably-ish, somewhere around there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is... I got some really really dry wood here and I'm gonna make a little pile my uh, Mora knife uh, I'm gonna make a pile of sawdust and shavings and, and uh, little dry wood hairs and then I I'm gonna try to light that and uh, with this baylight or bayite ferro rod works really good it's got I mean it really makes some sparks but if that doesn't work for whatever reason, uh, then I've got a little fire starter tin that's got some cool stuff in it that I'm going to try out. It wants to. It wants to. Let's give it some more of this sawdust. Ah. 
ah, it wants to. You can see it smoldering a little bit. So I am going to try this little tin kit here. It's got some magnesium in it. It's got some powder, some fat wood. I'm going to put some of this fat wood powder on there and see what happens. I know some people are probably saying, well, you got coals there and whatnot. Yeah, whatever. Let's try this. I saw a flame. I don't understand why it's not going, but see if these little uh, magnesium chunks in this kit these magnesium shavings let's see if they take off Got some fire. So I could have just as easily taken a lighter out of my bug out bag because I've got several lighters in there plus I have one in my pocket in fact. Um, but the point is being able to use the things that aren't lighters and all that. Uh, some people might say it was cheating with that magnesium dust. I mean I could have shaved off of a mag bar or something like that that I also have in the bag. Uh, for the same effect, but I wanted to test out products in that little kit too. So, yeah. But now I have fire. And fire is life. Alright, so I've got uh, some of the stuff cleared out from around here. So as when I walk away, it doesn't start catching leaves on fire. <clears throat> got those two pieces of wood which are pretty green uh, drying out a little bit and I'm going to put a rock wind barrier slash heat shield right here so let's do that
All right, so I got a good start to my rock wall and the fire's still going. Here's the, here's the start of my heat deflector. Right there. And of course the shelter is still in the process of being done. But, whew, what I do have tonight, even if I don't get the shelter completely done, is uh, I have fire. I have heat. Um, some of you may have already asked yourself by now what's the temperature here right now. It's, uh, I think the high is supposed to be 70 today. Uh, I'm up in the mountains, obviously, a little bit, not down in the desert like you're used to seeing me. Um, but it's supposed to be 30 tonight, 35, something like that. So, uh, yeehaw, let's get it done. Um, work on the shelter a little bit more, uh, and then I have, then I have a little surprise. The shelter, the shelter is getting pretty complete. I'm going to work on it throughout the day to uh, you know, just fill in the gaps and all that and armloads of leaves and stuff like that. The fire, I got plenty of coals going. I can actually let it go down to coals and restart it uh, as I go. So it's time to do some traps. Uh, so I'm going to do some figure four pipe deadfall traps and uh, I'm also, I brought something that I could easily fit in my bag if I wanted to, although it's not in there today, just to try out as an alarm system, so to speak. Because right behind my shelter is a game trail. And if you're going to stay in something like this, you don't want uh, critters uh, sneaking up on you. And what we got here is, uh, not only are there snakes in this area, but it's a little too cold for that, but uh, javelina, which are pigs that will... Uh, just absolutely decimate a campsite and deer and I'm gonna make sure I have a, an alarm system set up to where I can scare off the javelina if they come through here <sighs> okay so I got my trap done and uh, let me show it to you here So basically, to explain it to you if you don't already know, is this is the bait would go here, okay? This is holding up the rock into that notch. This point is going to a notch under there. And right there, that is a square cut in order to lock it into place. So. A mouse or a squirrel come in here boom, and it traps them if not kills them it's not a super heavy rock I'm going to find a bigger rock to use but I wanted to use that one to try and get it set up hey guys I want to show you something here can you see that you probably can't in the camera but right here is that little line that bank line goes all the way over to here <clears throat> this is pretty badass so you see that that's up underneath there and this is high enough that a squirrel will go under there and not ha not have have a problem but something big like a javelina or a deer will easily trip this wire so when it trips this wire that rock goes down, hits that button, which hopefully, hopefully scares them off. And alerts us in the campsite while we're sleeping. Check this out. I made this today. Split piece of wood. Put some bank line around it. Carve the handle up. Little tip. Yeah. There. And then there you go. 
future project for everybody. All right, so here's a here's an accomplishment today that I didn't expect to get to, and that's the uh, I don't know if you can even see that or not, but that is what I hang my pot from for the fire. And it's real sturdy too. It's real sturdy. So uh, let me take you back a little bit and uh, show you what I've got for my camp so far. The shelter, the rock, I still have, that's the deadfall right there, and uh, back there, right through there, is the game trail I was talking about, and it goes back through, I don't know if you can tell it from here, but I'm going to end up taking something from there to there and fortifying that whole side of the shelter and uh, I may take something from there to the ground boxing it in there as well and uh, see what happens from there now all in all this is not bad for oh five hours of work four hours of work something like that that's what I've gotten done and like got here I probably started recording around 10 in the morning and it's uh, oh probably four o'clock in the afternoon now but I stopped and ate but uh, so do the math not bad for the amount of time that I have put into it.